This fat ass, sass and crass, no class. Fulton County, I'm incognito today, y'all, because the white folks is after me. You know, I, I know you'll understand that nothing and nobody comes between me and my Nathan's hot dog. Yes, my PR firm, all they tell me to do is take me to church. Take me to church, I worship you, dog. You're the light of my life. Please forgive me my sins, but I would fall on a knife. You are my destiny, baby. Good God, just get rid of your wife. Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. You fought your time. You guys already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a quick favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> okay. Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. Thank you for hitting the subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Well, it seems that this could be the end of Big Booty Fanny Willis. Yep, yep, I know you guys are tired of me talking about her, and she's black, and I'm supposed to be, you know, give her some some slack and all that. Nope, 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 no. she's corrupt. I said this before, she's not a bright young lady, and it is showing, okay? She is messing up the bag. Not only that she hired an unqualified lawyer, her boyfriend, she paid a dude $100 more than the other, than the two white, than the two qualified lawyers. One of the lawyers is a RICO lawyer. He is experienced RICO lawyer. You only pay him $93,000 a year. But your unqualified boyfriend, allegedly, you gave him close to a million dollars. Paying this alleged secret unqualified boyfriend $100 more an hour than she's paying an actual RICO expert attorney who she brought in. Close to a million dollars. Now, that's okay. That's the that's kind of murky, right? But here's the nail in the coffin. Danny Willis had met up with the White House prior to his divorce. They went up to the White House. They concocted, they con con colluded with Biden. And right after that, she hired the unqualified boyfriend of hers. So they con con colluded with the White House to press charges against Donald Trump. Uh, all right, Mr. Burnick. So let's start there. Uh, again, we're traveling under Brady, and he's asking for evidence. And our communications with the White House Counsel's Office was about logistics and procedures, whether they had a TUI type process in place. Um, it wasn't about any, obtaining any type of evidence for them. But this seems a bit different. We're not talking so much about the logistics of witnesses as to whether there is potentially any coordination or uh, a political motivation that might well that's speculation. Uh, and it, it would be speculation right now because uh, i think he concedes he doesn't have access to your emails and it, it would be unlikely unless he was sitting in the room or bugged it that he'd have any idea what was in there but apparently he's got some documentation that a meeting did occur i mean yeah the original uh, question was is there something actually in writing that shows communications between the office and the White House counsel? Uh, we did get a letter from the White House counsel's office. That, that's where it's going to get messy. Not only that, she used COVID relief fund, federal money to pay dude. An increased allocation for these special prosecutors to hire them on in the first place of taxpayer money. Isn't that right? That's exactly right. Now, she, she apparently used federal COVID funds to pay this secret boyfriend. <laughs> That's when it's going to get all messed up for her. She used federal COVID funds to pay Nathan Wade. Now, I'm not a fan of Tasha K, but Tasha K had a clip. Let's take a look at Tasha K's response to this. What about Nathaniel's wife? 
Fanny. All that money you allocated tricking on a prosecutor, tricked his wife out of $1,400 a month alimony payment. This is the one you getting up on a church podium here to stand beside? 26 years of marriage, and all of a sudden, it just went up in smoke, just like that. She done raised your kids. She stuck by you 26 years. And then you went up to the White House, and you saw this money's coming, and right after, boom, you divorced her. Not only that, you tricked her out of her alimony. She'd been there 26 years. The kids are grown and out the house. She's supposed to get alimony. You tricked her out of that, $1,400. You just let her sitting out there. Where's the justice for this black woman when she's saying, I've been married to his ass for 26 years. Raise this children. To give $1,400 to Big Booty Fanny. <laughs> so it's going to be a mess. We have con colluded with the White House. You have COVID relief fund. And you pay this guy that was not was not approved by the board. You just say, shit, that's my boyfriend. I'm going to give him a cut. <laughs> I think that people need to light up Governor Kemp and Attorney General Chris Carr's office and tell them to open this criminal investigation. I love it. And I hope you go down, Big Booty Fanny. Now, I told you guys this before. She's a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha, and she's only qualified to be a teacher or a principal. That's it. Anything higher than that, they start uh, their bird brain. Okay. She's not qualified to be the DA. This was nothing but an affirmative action hire. <laughs> you know, she's black. I'm a woman. And stah, they just put her in there. And then look what happened. She's corrupted. She's a corrupt person. All she's qualified for is to be a teacher at a public school, an urban public school, not to be no goddamn DA of the great state of Georgia. No, sir. No, sir. Take your ass back to school, get your teaching's credits, and go be a principal somewhere. All right? And leave this to the big boys. Anyway, if you get any value out of my content, do me a quick favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. Tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you AKAs, get off my lawn.